Ladies, Jody here from Healing Journey, founder of the 12 week program, The Holistic Anxiety Fix. So, you are going to want to stay tuned over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be launching a very special offer with this program that's only going to be available for the month of. January and it is super juicy. So I haven't released what that is yet. So just stay tuned for more information. I'm going to be letting everybody know January 1st. Uh, so today we're going to be talking all about Christmas stress. And this year is obviously a very unique year when it comes to Christmas. Uh, some of us are engaging in regular Christmas gatherings and others of us are actually being forced to isolate. So depending on where you are, your Christmas could be looking very, very different. But either way, either scenario, there's still a big possibility of Christmas stress. So for a lot of people in general, Christmas can be very stressful. And if you already struggle with anxiety, then the added stresses of routine change and social gatherings and having to cook and all of those things can make the nervous system feel even more overwhelmed. And so a healthy individual who's not anxious may struggle with the Christmas season in general. But what I find is that women who are anxious find that Christmas can be stressful when in fact it's supposed to be enjoyable. And this can actually create more frustration and anxiety because you're trying to enjoy the moment and feeling stressed out at the same time. So if we think about anxiety, really anxiety is about fear of the future. So a lot of Christmas anxiety happens because we get worked up about our expectations or the unknown of what Christmas is going to look like. So Christmas anxiety can take on many different forms. Forms. It can be anxiety around having the perfect Christmas. So house decorated perfectly, right? Your food is cooked perfectly. You buy the perfect gifts for your children. And this is even more stressful this year because for a lot of you, finances are a big issue. And so it creates even more pressure to have the perfect Christmas. Now, another form of anxiety that a lot of women experience are the social anxiety. So this would be the case if you're getting together with friends or family and you have to have those awkward conversations where you don't know what to say or you're sitting there kind of trying to think of something to say. You wonder if they notice that you're awkward and then you start overthinking all of these things. And so that can be another source of Christmas anxiety. If any of these anxieties are sounding familiar to you, just type me below or like this post. Now there is another form of anxiety around Christmas and this is particularly new for this year and that is the anxiety of not being able to connect with friends and family and so it, there's anxiety around being isolated and not really having that social interaction. So what I'd like to share with you this afternoon is five hacks to making it through the Christmas season with less anxiety. So hack number one, we're going to be talking about fortune telling. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I talk a lot about thinking tracks from a cognitive behavioral therapy perspective and fortune telling is one of them. So you may be an expert fortune teller without even realizing it. So if you're fortune telling what it looks like is predicting the future, I know they're going to come over and hate my dinner. I know that this isn't going to be good enough or you start to worry about what the outcome is when in fact you have no idea. You don't know that you're going to make a fool of yourself at the Christmas table or burn Christmas dinner. So the first step is to recognize, hey, I think I'm an expert in fortune telling. And the second step is to then change your perspective. You want to be focusing on in the moment. Hey, I'm fortune telling. I know I can't tell the future unless you're someone that's psychically gifted. That's a little different. 
generally speaking, you can't tell the future. So focus on what you can control, which is this moment and stop thinking about the future. If fortune telling is something that you struggle with, type fortune telling below. The second thing you wanna do is take some downtime. So especially if you're getting together with family and friends or you have a jam-packed kind of holiday schedule, you wanna make sure that you're taking time for yourself. And you wanna make sure that you have time to reset. So create that time to go for a walk or have an Epsom salt bath. Now, if your schedule doesn't allow this, then it might be as simple as going into the bathroom and taking a few minutes to breathe. The third thing you wanna do is not overdo it on the sweets. So I've talked a lot about the gut anxiety connection and you know, Christmas is a great time to treat yourself. So I'm not saying don't have sweets, but if you overdo it, what you're actually doing is two things. So you're gonna be spiking your blood sugar, which we know a blood sugar roller coaster creates anxiety. And the second thing that you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be feeding your gut bugs. So you wanna make sure if you are gonna do sweets that you do it in moderation don't overdo it the fourth thing is setting boundaries so you know it can feel very pressured to have to engage in traditions that family engages in and oftentimes women with anxiety really struggle to have that voice so if this is you let me know below and say struggles with boundaries and so this is where you get to say it's okay for me not to participate in the whole thing. It's okay for me to step back and really honor that truth inside of you. And number five builds on that. This is honoring how you feel. So whether you have to isolate yourself from family this year and it feels very depressing, or whether you need to be around family this year and it feels anxiety provoking, the last thing you wanna do is reject those emotions. You're feeling them for a reason and it's likely valid. So the more you try, yourself, try and tell yourself to stop being anxious or it's not okay to be sad, what actually happens is the reverse, the bigger that emotion becomes. So what you need to do is really practice honoring your feeling in the moment. If you step into your emotion, if you allow yourself to feel that emotion, then what's actually gonna be happening is you're practicing the art of validating yourself. It's okay that you're feeling this way and you're allowing that feeling to move through you. And when you allow a feeling to move through you instead of blocking it to be, it's sort of like um, some sort of reverse trick, but what actually happens is the feeling will actually move through you and leave. The more you devalue your feelings or de unvalidate yourself, the bigger that feeling is gonna get. So take some time and acknowledge your feelings, allow yourself to feel them, and then move through them. So let me below know below which one of these strategies you're going to be trying over the holiday season and just how stressful Christmas tends to be for you.